Rob Harris knows when. No, I'm not. <laughs> What'd you say? He's, Isaiah said that, that Rob knows when I when Alex is gonna is gonna be hot. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Had he been shooting him well in practice, Alex? Um, honestly, this is a surprise to everybody. He came out and you know he's hitting shots, knocking them down, and I feel like they were doubling him in the post. So he just wanted to get away to get some open looks, and he stepped out. They left him and he knocked down shots. He's played really well against the Alabama. I mean, does that happen sometimes when you just get a good matchup and you feel confidence about that team playing that team? Yeah, you know, I feel like they're not as confident defensively uh, with him because you know he's been doing so well against them and you know they made an adjustment and they trapped him and he made an adjustment offensively and just stepped out and knocked down shots so you know it's hard for them to guard him. You said the other day that you needed to shoot the ball better. You hit those two threes back to back. Would they really help your confidence hitting the hitting the outside shots again? Um well you know my I'm always confident in my shot, but you know those two threes were big for me. I didn't hit a lot of shots that I normally hit early. And you know I was just trying to you know make things happen and that long shot really you know helped me throughout the game. What did you think about Dom coming in the first half and give you guys a spark? Um, that was really big for us. He came in and, you know, they were leaving him. And, you know, he knocked down some threes, some floaters. And, you know, he just stepped in, played defense. He did a great job. What would happen if Jamal turned and shot Cal with the arrow? Would he play long or not? Um, I don't think he would play long. He'd probably yell at him to get back. <laughs> When everybody's clicking, you know, like he, Dom comes off the bench, goes for seven. Alex hits four threes, double what he hit the entire season. Jamal still goes for twenty-three. Do you start feeling kind of like last year, where you know, you, you know you can still lose, but man, you guys start playing really good basketball. You're almost unbeatable. Yeah, when we get in a rhythm like that, you know, we're really good. So when guys like Alex are hitting shots, Jamal's always making his, and you know, it's just hard to guard us when we're spacing the floor out like that, uh, getting in the lane, making things happen. Minutes of do you feel it all worn down at this point of the year? Um, no, actually, I'm good. The uh, only thing I have is maybe some bumps and bruises from falling in the and stuff like that. When you go down, you is too. You almost seem upset every time you don't get an end one. You know, you go to the rack, you get fouled, but maybe it, it goes right off the rim. You know, it's, it's close. You seem like it, it really pains you that it doesn't go down. It does because, you know, I don't. You know, I'm going in there not to get fouled. I'm going in there to score the bucket, and then when they found me, I feel like I have enough room to finish the shot. And knowing it doesn't go in, I'm pretty upset. Tyler, did you see a shooting night like this from Alex Cohen? <laughs> not at all. Uh, well, hopefully he doesn't think he's a shooter now. Uh, we need him in the post. The impression was just a total team effort. You guys scored in the first half. What's it say about the strength with this team now that it's at full strength? Uh, when everyone plays with confidence and we get guys going and in a rhythm, you know, it's hard to stop us, especially if we have Alex hitting jump shots and space on the floor for us. Coach Cal seems <coughs> resigned to losing you at the end of the year. Is there any chance you come back? Um, I, you know, I'm just focused on a year right now. We got a lot more games ahead of us, and we're just playing. Winning a game like this, what's it do for you in the postseason? Everybody talks about the first game always is the hardest, and you came out and sort of just stomped on. Uh, well, winning a game like this is big for us because you know, coach stressed that this will be the hardest game, and you know, winning like that, you know, such a big game for us, and everybody stepped up and just played like it was a normal game in Europe. You all have had a lot of injuries this year. How much of a learning process is there still going on, figuring out how you all are going to play? Are you, are you, are you set on how you all are going to play? Or? I feel like at this point we're set. Um, when guys went down, everybody stepped in and did their job. Uh, when Alex went down, Isaac stepped up. When Derek went down, Scott stepped up. And you know, now everybody's to the level of how they can play. And you know it's going to be hard to beat us. I was relying on you to do a lot of coaching for early in the year, mid-year, even somewhat in the last quarter of the year. Is he still doing that with you now? Can you guys seem more confident? Um, you know, a lot of people are a lot more confident and everybody's getting into the rhythm of how coach wants them to play. So, you know, I don't really have to say as much. So, you know, everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, doing their job, and, you know, we're rolling now. Would this game count as another step forward for Scal based on what he gave you all out there? Um, definitely. You know, Scal's doing a great job defensively and offensively. He's blocking shots. Uh, he's shooting his hook shots that he can make. He's always made his jump shots. And, you know, he's a problem now. Uh, pick and pop in the post. And, you know, he's playing great. What's the difference between this team now and midseason? Uh, it's a big difference. Everybody's starting to, you know, fill in their role. We got our bigs playing every night. You know, we got Scal doing what he can do, and, you know, everybody's just playing hard. Oh, yeah, can, you, can you look at this team and say, this is not the same bunch that I saw a month ago? Um, this is definitely not the same team. We had a lot of young guys who you know, are now focusing. Every time we step on the court, everybody's coming out and playing their heart out. And, you know, we're just, you know, trying to keep going and winning. What do you think of Murray's bow and arrow trick? What do you say? What do you think of Murray's bow and arrow move? 
Um, I don't know where he got it, but you know it's pretty clever. Uh, he does it. He does it every time he makes a three. What'd you think of Alex emulating that bow and arrow thing tonight? Nah, uh, he, <laughs> he, it's not for him. <laughs> EJ, EJ said he's, you're the last guy on the team that would ever do that. We're not gonna see you pull out the bow. Nah, arrow. you're not gonna see me do that. That's all for more. <laughs> you too serious for that? <laughs> no, nah, it's just you know I don't want to take someone else's you know little three point celebration. Alex had no problem doing that. <clears throat> not at all. I guess. <laughs> You gotta play again tomorrow. I mean, you've done this before. How 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 challenging is that? Uh, just coming off a rough game like that, you know, it's physical. Uh, guys got to come in ready to play. I'm pretty sure everybody's sore. Uh, we got to go to the hotel, get some treatment, get some rest, and be ready to play tomorrow. Have you always been a guy that had just a lot of endurance? I mean, was it? I know you ran and stuff when you were younger. I guess you were a runner. Yeah, um, I, I guess I was just blessed with that because I ran track. I ran the distance and never really went to practice because of basketball. So, you know, I just went to a couple meets and I was pretty good at it. Just kept going. What was your distance? I ran the 815. Ooh. In uh, Coach Cal's comments yesterday about losing, <coughs> losing you to the draft, in regards to that, has he ever talked to you about you know, developing you for you know, the pro game and that sort of thing? Has he, you know, said that, you know, even last year, you know, you can have that opportunity. Uh, yeah, he's talked to me about that, you know, even last year, like you said, because that's what, you know, Kentucky is for to get you ready for the next level and win games. And, you know, I know I have to gain weight and stuff like that, but, you know, we really don't talk about it much because, you know, we're trying to focus on the season. When did you realize you could compete at the highest level? I mean, how old were you when you realized, like, I can play with anybody? Like five. <laughs> <laughs> You were just born with it, weren't you? Yeah, um, yes, obviously. You know, I just always loved the game growing up watching. You know, my cousin Travis, Allen Iverson. You know, I just loved it. How tall are you?